What's good, YouTube? In this video, I wanted to remind everybody that the nickel triple is still one of the best defenses in Madden 22. And I want to do that by talking through a blitzing concept against trips tight end that is really good against play action. Now, we all know that trips tight end is actually a really good offense this year, primarily because they can pick up pretty much every blitz just with simple play action blocking. So we're going to show you in this video how you can actually take advantage of play action blocking to guarantee yourself some crazy pressure um, against the gun trips. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to get my complete nickel triple defensive ebook, I'm going to put a link in the description below to join our Patreon. All my ebooks are in our Patreon membership. It's only $10 a month to become a member, and we've got over 21 offensive and defensive ebooks available so if you want to check that out again you get access to all the ebooks by becoming a member and again it's only ten dollars and you get updates as well we update every guide we update uh, our membership every week with the latest and greatest stuff so you're always getting relevant content current content um, and improved content every single week so guys nickel triple is really good um, specifically against trips tied in because of the feature in nickel triple basically nickel triple is a defense that is kind of an automatic man aligned defense and at least with uh cover two and so i'm going to show you what this looks like against trips tight end you could do this out of other things it doesn't just have to be this but i do like the cover two the best probably um and basically what we want to do is really simple setup all we're going to do is we're going to blitz the corner on the right and we're going to pass commit and then what we want to do with our users, we're going to stand kind of right over this guard right here and just hold left trigger. That's it. If you want to shade your coverage down on the right side to have a hard flat, you certainly can. So you have a hard flat to the right, a deep half, and then of course a shaded down vert hook and a cloud on the back side. You obviously are responsible for the middle of the field um, with your user. But what you'll see here, and again, I like to pass commit, is I'm going to hold left trigger at the snap of the ball. We're just going to kind of hesitate in, and you'll see we're going to get crazy, crazy fast pressure at the quarterback. The trip side information, and really with the way nickel triple works, um, every formation has major challenges in particularly against the nickel triple because of the fact that you can kind of stand in any of these gaps, and the blitz angles are so good from this formation that if you stand like right here, this guard a lot of times, and there I was a little bit too far off, but a lot of times that guard, or not, sorry about the guard, but the tackle will kind of dumb out. Now the best place to stand, in my opinion, is like right here. So again, I'm just gonna blitz this guy, pass commit, and what you should see, eh, it's kind of messing up. It might be because we've ran the blitz a couple times. We'll run it off of another edge. So, I mean, again, very simple. So if you wanted to uh, get that pressure, the same kind of concept, but you're gonna send it over here, that's fine. So literally we're just gonna blitz our linebackers. We're gonna stand kind of right here. And what you'll see is on the right side now, that comes in. Now again, it's a little bit easier to pick up on the right side because the running back is already on that side. So that's just something. Um, and of course, you know, you do have, you know, kind of a better stack over here. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and blitz that corner. And then again, I'm just gonna hold left trigger kind of standing and hovering over in this area. I like to run at the guy um, at the snap of the ball. So kind of get my guy here. And then we'll go and you see they come up and as you can see the pressure is incredible so this is going to force your opponent to block their tight end and this is what is really valuable so now they're in a situation where they have to block their tight end i'm going to show you something with this again so we're going to kind of stand right here and again we're only sitting five but what you'll see is even against five they still can't pick it up and that's that's the real key to this defense um it really comes down to where you stand you know if you stand um, like right here, you're going to notice that this defense is still good, but it's not as good. Like we did get kind of lucky there, um, but basically just standing to the left of the center is really all you need to do. Um, if you stand over here, I found that this is not super successful. So I'm going to stand right here and pass commit, kind of run down to center. And you see that, yeah, we still get the corner, but the problem is the guy can come over. But what I think is crazy is literally out of a max protect, um, I'm blocking everybody in my trips. I'm blocking my tight end and I'm blocking my running back, right? And what you'll see is we should be able to get this pressure home right off this edge. As you can see, super, super fast pressure. Now, 
I want to take this concept and apply it to bunch just real briefly. Every formation has um, that that issue, right? Every formation with uh, when it faces nickel triple is going to have these issues with alignment. And that's what makes the Tampa 2 so good is that it moves based on alignment. So like right here, where's my three? My three are to the right, of course. So what I can easily do is kind of stand like right in here and I'm gonna blitz my nickel. And what you should see is we should be able to get some decent pressure off that right edge. As you can see right there, we get a nice little overload and we're able to get the pressure on the left. Now, if I wanted to kind of mess a little bit with the bunch, what I can do is I can oh, I can flip my play and notice this. I can flip my play and now I'm kind of over in this, um, you know, kind of this realm of the this kind of space. And what you'll see now is just a simple, you know, we talked about this once a million times, but this little A gap um, that you can get against bunch is really, really, really good. Um, another little thing that you can do that I really like against this though is the fact is that we can blitz this nickel corner and um, you can stand here if you want to you could also stand here but you'll notice that based off where you stand it can make this you know more or less effective so let's say for example that i blocked my tight end you'll notice here that sometimes this will still come in it's not coming in here but sometimes it will still come in off that edge if you baseline if you baseline your defense that can be helpful against compression sets like bunch um, so you'll see here, this is a compression set. So you see we get a little bit wider of an angle uh, to try to get this to come in. Obviously it's not working too well for us, but the bottom line is every single formation has their kind of glitchy spot, right? So in this example, I think for bunch is really right in here. And what you'll see is we'll get these nice looping angles. We're getting kind of caught up by the routes, but you can kind of see the idea. Now against bunch, I think it makes a lot of sense this year specifically to base align your defense um, just because of the alignment of bunch is always a problem and so you see here we're getting that pressure and we're able to come in another thing you can do though is you can also contain so like if i if i uh, blitz my guy and then i can uh, qb contain and kind of slide him in just a little bit you'll notice that this makes a, ma a major major difference so again here you see we get this nice little loop and you know, again, you have to tinker with this a little bit against bunch, but it's so, so good um, against these trip sets. Now let's take this concept and apply it to bunch tight end uh, real quick. So same exact concept as trips, right? We're gonna flip our play so that we get that same alignment um, against this. I like to kind of, um, you might need to, ah, crap, I messed my, my guy up. Um, you know, but you might need to just move this guy a little bit or, you know, kind of, you know, whatever, but just kind of get your guys where they need to be. But anyways, the bottom line is you can blitz this guy off the edge and kind of, again, stand kind of right, right in here. And you'll see that a lot of times you'll get those two guys coming off the edge against bunch tight end, just like you've got them against trips tight end. Okay. And that's really the beauty of this. Um, you know, if you wanted to, you could do something like this where you bring this guy out and then you could kind of bring the pressure you know, again, kind of backside off the bunch. And this is just a really good pressure look because again, it all comes back to, you know, where's the leverage? Where's the leverage for your defense? The, um, you know, the cover three cloud is another one of those plays that is very similar to this. If you wanted to show blitz, you certainly could. So you could, you know, do something like this where you, you know, show blitz. You got that safety on the left side. Obviously we don't have the coverage. Don't worry about that too much. Just kind of focus on the pressure here, you know, but we could do something like this, you know, where we have a pretty heavy uh, blitzing look. We're gonna send six or so. And if they block the running back, a lot of times this doesn't pick it up. You see here, we're able to get that edge. Cause again, we're overloading where the offense is weak. In trips tied in, where is the offense weak? Well, the offense is weak on the right side or um, on the other side of the of the formation. So it makes a lot of sense that we're going to take that that nickel corner. We're going to stand right here. We're going to pass commit, and you see that we're going to get that clean pressure even against max protect. So I think this is one of the best defenses in Madden right now for defending trips tied in because the pressure is so fast and they literally have no way to pick it up. At least as the game sits right now. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about Nickel Triple, I really like this defense. It's a really, really pressure heavy defense, but it's a lot of fun to run it. And if you want to learn how to run it, there's a link in the description below. I've done a lot of, of stuff in our Patreon on the Nickel Triple. And so if you want to get access to all that stuff, you also get access to all my other eBooks by becoming a member. It's only $10 a month to sign up. So I think it's a great way that you can um, sign up and become a better Madden player literally instantly with all of the stuff that we have in there.
Thanks for watching. If you want to sign up for the membership, there's a link in the description. So you can head on down there and click that link and go check it out.